Hey everyone, welcome to Final Cut. Mark the Movie Man here, and today we're going to take a look at Resident Evil Retribution. Yes, the fifth movie in the Resident Evil franchise. Words I never thought I'd ever hear myself say. Once again, we have Mia Jovovich as Alice, and we take up literally where the last movie pit left off. We pick right up from there, okay? And then we get into this scene where uh, suddenly Alice is in... Uh, domesticated, she's a you know a housewife with a husband and daughter, and then the zombies show up, and next thing you know, she's in this interrogation room, and we see the movie pick up from there as she tries to escape the main testing facility, which she's been sent to by the Umbrella Corporation, and it's the Umbrella Corporation's testing facility, and we see her trying to escape. We get a hundred some odd minutes of her trying to escape this facility as friends of hers, including Leon, try to come from the outside and rescue her as well. And along the way, we were supposed to get some more storyline development of the whole Umbrella Corporation taking over the world and Origins of Alice. And we get bits and pieces of that, but nothing really solid at all. And mostly it's just action scenes. And granted, now that's not necessarily a bad thing, okay? But when you're rehashing villains you've seen before and they're doing similar fighting the way you saw them before, you go, we've seen this before. He doesn't add a whole lot of new things to the action sequences except some of Alice's new badass moves, okay? So if you're going to reuse villains, you know, bring some more interesting fights than what they did. Uh, and, and so those were a little bit of a disappointment. The special effects were great, don't get me wrong. I loved uh, the blending of the effects of the uh, uh, you know CGI with the live action. That was done really well. And again, Alice kicking ass is always fun to watch. You get Michelle Rodriguez back, and for the short time she's on screen, she kicks ass as well. You get Cena Gilroy walking around the facility with troops behind her as Jill Valentine. Uh, not doing a whole lot till the end boss fight, if you will. And that, that's the problem I had with the end boss fight of this film, is that Alice should have figured out the solution a lot sooner than she did. I was like, really? But over the, the feeling of this, what I liked about the first few Resident Evil movies, they were a guilty pleasure of mine, and I liked them because they kind of tried to take a serious tone, not too serious, but they tried to bring some uh, live-action legitimacy to the CGI uh, video game, okay? They tried to bring it out and make it kind of realistic and set it in a real world type of settings and not make it feel a little bit, give you elements from what the game was, like the creepiness and the scariness, but actually make it a real film. By now, though, Wes, uh, An Paul W.S. Anderson, excuse me, has just gone lazy and we've got a video game, a live action video game. This thing is directed exactly like a Capcom Res new Resident Evil video game. Not the old one. The old one was creepy and had a ode to be horror films. Now we're all just, it, I literally was looking for my controller going, hey, when, when can I control Mia Jovovich? Uh, oh wait, no, that was, that was a dream I had. Uh, we, we won't talk about that though. But literally, the direction of this, down to the electronic grid video game swooping moving uh, you know there and we even have we even have an x-ray vision at one point where they're fighting and you suddenly kit cut to it like a, the new mortal Kombat film where you a uh, game excuse me film game where you get the x-ray vision when you hit some guy you see a bone break they do this in this film like three or four times i'm like oh, really really we've gone completely video game now from a franchise that started off taking a video game bringing it to live action legitimacy now we've gone right back to just video game dumb to the and let me tell you one thing hollywood needs to look at their machine guns for these action films they've come out recently because i know i'll let it get away a little bit but man they've got the most inaccurate machine guns in this video game oh, excuse me movie <laughs> ever okay Look, I did like the action sequence and the fight scenes with Mia when she was going fist to cuss with the zombies or the other characters. But when they brought back the big fighter enemies, which you've seen in the trailer, we've seen that before, so there was really nothing new there. In general, they could have taken this whole franchise, probably compacted it into three films, and it had a very solid storyline with the Umbrella Corporation and corruption and conspiracy and the whole nine yards. Instead, Paul W.S. Anderson has decided to stretch this out for what looks like to be six films, and as he goes along, they get more and more empty, and just, you know, 
I don't know. I had to give this one one and a half stubs. One and a half for the three strong female leads in this and some of the fight scenes. It's always great to see Alice kick ass. But in general, this really comes up short compared to the way this franchise started out. Now, some of you may say, well, how could you give Battleship this and, and, and Resident Evil this? I can give it that because Battleship had absolutely no expectations whatsoever. And, and that film is just... From the start, you really knew what were you getting into. In this one, I had a little bit higher expectations, I guess, because of the way the storylines had been in the first three films. In the fourth one, I kind of was like, okay, we'll give you that one, Paul, but let's see, wrap this up in five. And we haven't wrapped it up yet. We just decided to stretch it along, appease the video gamers out there and actually make you a video game live action film that'll let you go man I wish this was going to be Resident Evil 6 but they just don't have the technology for you to control Mia Jovovich which is probably the most disappointing thing of all and that'll about do it for us here at Final Cut till next time keep that ticket stuff